chemotherapy. Our body is made of trillions of cells, each with its own unique role. But sometimes, certain cells lose control and turn into cancer cells. That's where chemotherapy comes in. Chemotherapy drugs travel through our bloodstream, like tiny warriors on a mission to fight against cancer. These drugs stop cancer cells from spreading and sometimes even make them disappear entirely. Cancer cells divide and multiply faster than normal cells, and chemotherapy drugs work by targeting rapidly dividing cells. And because cells in our hair follicles also multiply faster than others, chemotherapy can damage them, which may cause hair loss. But don't worry. Once you complete your treatment, the hair follicles will recover and your hair will grow back. There are also other side effects of chemotherapy. These can vary from person to person, but common side effects may include hair loss, fatigue, nausea, or changes in appetite. It is very important to control and manage these side effects by an experienced oncology specialist. Our healthcare team is here to support and guide patients, providing ways to manage these effects. One of the most asked questions is what to eat in this period. According to the recommendations, there are no restrictions in food. You can eat anything you like as long as it's healthy. However, in some types of chemotherapies, your doctor might tell you not to eat grapefruit and drink pomegranate juice. You should drink lots of water to help your body. But it is strictly recommended not to smoke or drink alcohol as it has negative effect on your body. For every type and stage of cancer, there are different chemotherapy drugs. In some cases, two or more chemotherapy drugs are administered simultaneously. For example, if your oncologist recommended to receive a chemotherapy protocol called Fulfirinox, that means you will be receiving four different chemo agents called Leucovarine, Fluoruracil, Irinoticon, and Oxaliplatin. Each cycle of the chemotherapy regimen may be given every week, every two weeks, or every three weeks, depending on the protocol. And the duration of each cycle may vary from one hour up to 48 hours. Since the discovery of chemotherapy, cancer survival has improved significantly. For example, the survival rate for breast cancer used to be around 25%, but now, with the help of chemotherapy, it is close to 90%. Also, thanks to chemotherapy, the testicular cancer is almost completely curable, and its survival rate is above 90% even in advanced stage. After significant advancements in the field of oncology, combination of new targeted therapies and immunotherapies with chemotherapy has revolutionized cancer treatment, leading to increased effectiveness and enhanced outcomes. Visit profosdogan.com to find out all of the recent developments in cancer.